Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken and we are playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore. The hardest difficulty with only one save game and if we lose a single mission it is game over. Let's jump right into it. Today we're going to look at Operation Solid Copy. We uh, discussed the last time why we're doing the mission. We want to control the unrest in Riverside and on top of it we get the icing on the cake which is 45 Intel. We're getting closer and closer to find the prodig uh, prodigy, progeny um, who is the appearing leader of our opposing faction. It's going to be a very difficult mission with only one projected encounter taking the team that we had the entire time um, as Virch is still um, trying to recover from his wounds. So let's jump right into the action. Good, we're going for the breach mode. There's only one uh, slot, apparently. Successful shots on enemy will crit. Ooh, I like it. So we're going in with cheer up uh, and his phalanx. Let's continue with terminal, shelter and uh, blue blood. Time to breach, I would say. In. Here we go. Well, hello. We got a surprise resonant. Uh, got an aggressive thrall back here. Uh, I think we can kill the thrall, so we actually don't need phalanx. I would like to kill the revenant, though. Really don't want to deal with him. Grazing shot, but we can ignore cover and kill the thrall. Very nice. Okay, we're not taking any shots and we got a few enemies here, most of which are surprised. The bruiser is not a problem, very tanky, but it's not going to be an issue. What else do we have? Um, we do have an Archolite who is acting uh, very soon, so we got to deal with him. Bruiser is not a uh, big problem. The Brute is a problem if you let him run for too long. And I can see another Hitman here. Yeah, that's, I think it's overall that is doable. I don't... I don't think it's a terribly difficult task. Time for... Yeah, let's give the shield to ourselves. Also, we want to make sure that Blue Blood can, can act right afterwards. And it's definitely not the best shot, but it's a start. Getting the hitman uh, would be great. It seems as if we can't really see the Arcolite, which makes it a bit awkward. Too bad. Uh, you, We could definitely go up to here. But that would also put us pretty much at risk. I think we much rather take two shots with the chance of uh, actually killing the Archolite, uh, the Hitman. There we go, that's good. So we're taking a soul fire, most likely. Oh no, um, it's a lift instead. I was almost betting that he would soul fire. Taking the brute further down wouldn't be too bad. So let's start with that. I totally love the pin down ability. It's great. Some corneas. Removing his psionic capabilities for a round is even better. 
not sure why the game is acting up like that. Uh, when I test, uh, when I test ran it, it never had any problems. All right, and we are overwatching because I don't want to take a forty percent shot. Way to cover us. Starting. All right, relocating. I want to make sure that the Argolite dies. And if we would overwatch, uh, that would take care of all of the fields. And we can get a kinetic shield uh, so that even if someone hits us, it wouldn't be the end of the world, which is exactly what we're going to do. Kinetic shield to shelter. Yeah, I take the 100% hit. Don't want to take any chances here. Yeah, not a perfect positioning. If we position ourselves on either side, they can simply advance here and flank us. Which means I'm probably just trying to take him down. Yep, that worked. He does have a lot of armor in full cover. Let's take the 50-50. Nice, that worked out well. Perfect. Together with Overwatch, it worked very well. We haven't even taken damage. Holy moly. Moving. Cover me. Good. Overwatch. Still don't see any reinforcements here. I like the new Overwatch mechanics. If you play it right, it's much better than the old ones. Because you don't need to worry whether or not you're going to hit. It essentially locks down a certain area. Heading over. Moving into cover. And flanking the bruiser. Plus taking him down. I do have the feeling once we talk to this guy, we either need to evac here or here. But since there are no reinforcements coming in, at least not yet, might as well head over a kinetic shield to everyone. Reloading. And let's prepare. Ammo's nearly out. Fed my weapon. I'm kind of banking on the fact that we need to get out uh, from our entrance. I have to move. Taking solid cover positions with everyone. I have to reload. I'll keep an eye out. Don't burn through your ammo. Good. We continue with kinetic shields. And slowly but surely advancing. Next turn we can get to the VIP.
All right, so where is the evic? Uh, down there. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Slithering out. Good. We can overwatch right here because uh, supposedly enemies could come from there. The other enemy area would be over here. And that is it. Oh no. Yeah, only those two areas. Okay. Switching. Let's get the snake out of the way. just in case someone would be coming Call it if you see movement. and the VIP can move out there we go overwatch worked like a charm she has my trust Good. We're simply moving to the uh, towards the exit. Next turn, we can sprint out. Down. One thing that I learned with reinforcements is you can't really fight against all of the reinforcements. It's just not working. They are eventually going to overrun you. And since we haven't invested yet into upgraded weapons, you can see that I'm often requiring like two-ish shots to get someone down. Yeah, we're just going to leave. It's all good. If we play our cards right, we might even flawless that mission. The sharp stars Next out. Good. Alright, and cheer up uh, gets out of here. Another observation that I had with movement is they changed the double move. Uh, the first move is always longer than the second one, so you can't really outrun enemies. Uh, it is much more beneficial if you find yourself kind of in a really tough spot to single move and then take a shot at or, or another action. And we got only a 60% chance for 20 intel because we only um, had three uh, unconscious targets. That's too bad. But I think uh, overall the mission was quite nice. Flawless one. Good. We got minus one unrest. Uh, 45 intel. We did not get the 20% bonus intel for the very first mission. Uh, we did not get the bonus intel. 
out of touch. Recent disappearances of hybrid citizens have left their families in disarray. She wouldn't have just left like this. Someone took her. They must have. Commissioner Maloof issued an official response. 301 PD is actually looking into these missing persons. This matter is our top priority. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. Good. We got 160 intel. That's perfect. We cannot yet do this mission, so unrest will build up for the first time. Not much we can do about that at the moment. Oh, well, I'm wrong. We could simply reduce the unrest here. Yeah, but before we do that... I think we could require more intel, so I'm fine with that. And if we're now using Vigilance, it should remove two. Yeah, perfect. Good. We got 80 more. Enough to build another finance uh, piece or get Elerium. I think we're opting for one more... Um, finance part because I like the income credits are quite helpful on the other hand 10 Elarium is worth more than 15 credits uh, that's that is something to consider hmm we get Elarium here so might as well go for the credits Good. So, short of two areas in the town, we uh, got field teams in almost every location, and with enough intel, we can also upgrade them, which is absolutely fantastic. We're probably going to go with the support uh, right here, um, giving us 30 Elarium. The 60 um, supplies wouldn't be bad either. But I kind of like the idea that we're um, having enough Elarium stock to continue um, researching. Overall, yeah, we're it still takes some time to get the enhanced pistols. We just started leg work. And he's almost done with recovering from his uh, wounds. So it's looking good. It's not looking bad at all. Um, I will keep the credits so we can upgrade the pistols once we have researched it. And I would say it looks like we have taken care of everything. So let's get the Elarium. Unrest has been lowered to 4 and 4. to escape but to where they must have a network of safe houses find them and remove them from the board perfect so the progeny were on her trail training is completed arrested two humans and a sectoid for removing their dampeners at the promenade the arresting officer downplayed the psionic disturbance this was a political demonstration that got out of hand nothing more a protester on the scene disagreed. The dampeners are painful. We should be able to live as naturally as anyone else. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. Good. So, as a preparation for the next mission, I think Cheer Up could use some hit points. So, let's get him into basic training. That means we don't have a tank, but it's fine. We got a lot of utility and this team here can um, work as well. I don't think that that's going to be a problem. Uh, plus, once he has the hit points, almost everyone had been through training. I think Blue Blood's the last person who is missing basic training. So things are moving quite well. Freeze. 
Oh, perfect. Uh, we got the option between the Progeny Stronghold. Which we can find out uh, through this mission. And it's, I think, the second uh, last leg of the Progeny questline. So we're soon um, moving towards finding her. Might even be the last one uh, where we confront her. Uh, the other option is Hasmas uh, Ceiling, which is a great armor mod, um, and 25 Intel. So that's not bad. Um, I like the armor mod, but I, I think I like this one here more, because we would uh, knock off three unrest overall, progress the storyline, and we can use uh, freeze uh, the the unrest here. That'll save us three potential unrest increase, and we will go for the progeny stronghold. But we're definitely going to do that in the next mission. This one was a quickie. We are already through. Um, we're making rapid progress here. So looking forward to continue this campaign in the next run. If you enjoyed what you've seen, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in our next episode. Bye bye.